Hi, this is Susan Oros once again. I felt guided to pop in and talk a little bit about what I'm experiencing happening in my physical body because it relates to what's happening with the quantum field, so to speak. And if you listen to the last audio about the new moon in Virgo, it relates to that and the Mother Art Gates. So first let me say a little bit about the image that you see accompanying this audio. It is a, it's called the Vector Equilibrium <clears throat> by Buckminster Fuller. It's also known as the cuboctahedron. So it looks like a, a hexagonal kind of shape on a flat 2D surface, but you have to imagine that in the center there, it it's actually goes in deep. So um, if you imagine your body, you have height, you have width, and then there's depth. So there's actually depth to that image. And so this, the plane in the center, you have to imagine it kind of uh, that it goes deep. And that matters because it means that um, all the lines that you see, the vectors from the corners, they all lead to the center point and they cancel each other out, which is zero point. So... This is also known as kind of a geometric zero point field. Um, and this is important in what I'm experiencing happening in my body. So around the new moon time frame um, of November 1st, November 2nd, uh, suddenly felt the mother arc gates. And the word that's coming is that they're transfiguring. This is the word that I'm getting from Samantha. And the mother arc gates, from what I sense, it's also like the 13th dimension that mother comes through. And there's 12 gates, like I briefly described in the last one. So they access into uh, the deep, deep subatomic states. And what I'm getting is that it is going deeper beyond the quantum field, let's say. I mean, it's, it's hard to even describe what that word would be. Uh, one of the words that I got was wantum. W-U-N-T-U-M. And I still use quantum because people won't know what I'm talking about. So this weekend, Sammy was showing me rainbow colors of a very, very refined grid. And this goes beyond what some were calling like the part of K, part of Chi, I think. I think those are words that Ashiana Dean had come up with. Um... And I'm not saying she's wrong, uh, just saying that this goes this goes deeper beyond. Um, because my sense recently is that um, even like the archontic sciences, meaning that the archons that have used the technology, let's say, um, of, of organic building structures uh, in the matter world were also compromised. And since these, the quantum field um, or subatomic realms have very much a lot to do with the matter world, the manifestation of our matter world, uh, it was compromised, let's say. And so even what what I would think of as artificial life 
on the planet. These mean this means like even micron or nano sized little bots or uh, engineered bioengineered artificial life forms were used by this kind of archontic science. So this very refined uh, waves, let's say, Sam was showing me um, rainbow colors of a very, very refined grid. It's more rainbow oscillations. Um, they're almost barely visible so that the colors uh, that I'm seeing is just a reference to show me the refined um, sounds, uh, not even sounds, the breath at refined levels, oscillations, like I said, at very, very refined levels. Oh, by the way, this um, audio message is also a transmission, so you'll feel some other things happening, or you might in your own uh, physical body. So these mother art gates are transfiguring, in quotes. Don't have another real word for that. And so there, this is rebuilding, not even rebuilding, but the word, quote, reboot um, came up, matter. And so for the last couple of days, especially yesterday on um, 11-4, I was seeing a lot of the platonic solids moving through my body. And the platonic solids, as some of you might know, represent the elements. So there's the tetrahedron, representing fire, I believe, uh, the cube representing the matter of earth, and we can't think of it as like earth, as in the dirt, but there's an element of earth, there's an element of uh, the octahedron, which I believe is, if I remember correctly, is air, the dodecahedron, representing ether, and the icosahedron representing water. And in this instance, it's primordial waters. Primordial waters that is not quite the same as the water we see manifested. So these primordial waters are what's in the let's say, womb of creation from the liquid universes in pre-matter form, pre-manifested form. So there was a lot of platonic solids I was feeling in my body, and Sam also, it's, that's, going to, or in the process of rebuilding the physical world in a new state. So now everything may still look the same, but it's in a sense freeing up matter because of the transfiguration of the Mother Ark gates. It was, uh, I was conscious yesterday of rebuilding or reanimating or animating the Dantian centers that goes through the body in this, um, it's kind of an interdimensional s s space. Right now what I'm seeing is between the 
the first and the second dimensions. Um, so it's interdimensional between the first and second dimensions, these Dantian centers. At least that's what I think now, or maybe the lower one. But anyway, the Dantian centers, what we've known, or some, is the lower one that's in the pelvis. It's about uh, two inches below the pelvis. There's one by the high heart level, um, or the thymic level, uh, maybe just under the thymic level. And then there's one that goes across the brow in that general area. Um, I've been guided to, to use a, a couple of more. There's one at the level of the soul star or the tenth chakra, as some call it, which is about six to eight inches above the head. So these, and then there's another one that we've been working with right about at the uh, still point, the, the bottom of the sternum, just above the solar plexus. That's another one that I won't talk about here. We've been talking about that in our Patreon meetings, but it's not, um, I won't, I won't uh, go into depth here about what, what that is because it requires some other visuals and things. But um, these Dantian centers are important because there are anchor points of our core spirit that comes in. Um, it runs down. They also the Dantian centers also run um, not exactly on the hara line or the central vertical channel, but kind of. What I'm seeing right now, which I hadn't seen before, is just like in front of it. So these are the anchor points for uh, the spirit, our soul essence, to anchor into a physical, into a physical body. Um, so the the Dantian centers. I was guided to re I don't know something with the platonic solids re building them or animating them somehow I I did it you know with my family members I didn't um wasn't quite sure exactly how I did it but um all I know is that Samantha felt a lot of relief from this oh and this is important for the autists embodying in the sense that they don't want to lose their connection to the source, so to speak. And we're talking about going beyond outside of the 18th dimension. So this is even bigger than what um, most people have talked about. And... This is the way that I sense for Samantha, at least, um, of how to anchor that core spirit into the body so that you don't forget. Um, and I feel like anybody who's going to remain on the planet is going to connect to this. I don't know what that will look like or how that will go for everyone, but um, I definitely feel that this is these Dantian centers are are important in um, changing matter, and we're not going to just become light, the light body in an instant. Uh, this is this is a process. So it's those very high frequencies coming into the body into density because even 5d has a, a density and this will s slow down so when the high frequencies slow down into density then your body may feel a bit heavy 
when when that's happening or you may feel heavy because sometimes we're releasing density and so the the dense body is amplified so that as these oscillations come in it, the density can be freed let's say now in this freeing of density more is going to be released that's held in the body as far as emotional energy, mental constructs, belief systems. So for me, a lot's happening with my, in the pelvic area, the stomach, the intestines, um, uh, a healing of the intestines. So um, I'm having trouble eating in a sense. Well, I shouldn't say trouble. I'm guided not to eat very much. I'm drinking a lot of bone broth because that still has some protein. And um, cooked vegetables in the broth because that will give you nutrients that releases nutrients into the, uh, into the soup, which is different than boiling vegetables and then you throw the water out and other vitamins and minerals may be, may be lost. So... In the freeing of matter, a lot more will be freed up. So it's important not to, to judge yourself in what is coming up. For me, I'm having the realization that um, it's almost like I was born in fear. It's the only way I can say it because I, I had a vision a few years ago, I can't remember when, but um, that even the day before my birth, I had been right at the tailbone in that root. I was, let's say, there was an injection of this very dark liquid, like dark as in not good, evil energy uh, that ran through my whole body and I felt like immediately this world is not safe. Um, there was a lot of rage. There was a lot of, uh, anyway, just evil. Evil energy is all I can say. So it's affected the way I digest life in a sense um, and affected how I interacted in the world even as a child uh, and again just using that as an example if you're having those kinds of awarenesses or thoughts that come up for, you, for other people it may be things in the thought patterns or the brain, the right, the left side of the brain or the right side of the brain. Because in, in this freeing of matter so that we can bridge the mental, emotional, quote, bodies into one, the brain and the gut are going to be affected, so to speak. So anyway, I'm... Uh, Aware of these things happening all day yesterday, uh, going on, going on in my body, going on in my family's bodies, in Samantha's bodies, and watching these platonic solids kind of moving around like they're in liquid. So we're surrounded by the primordial waters. Whether it looks like it or not, we're surrounded by the primordial waters. And so these, uh, like these structures, built, rebuilding the matter body. And then uh, I was seeing the activation of the corrected flower of life. 
I say corrected, because what I was shown maybe back in May, June, maybe June, July time frame, um, that we were operating on a flower of life, let's say, where the petals were cut off. And we were only operating on the center of it. And even that was rotated 30 degrees off. And so this affected how the particle, antiparticle, matter, antimatter interaction was taking place and our, how we engage the, the quantum field. Um, and that, that excerpt of our YouTube videos from our Patreon meetings are on our YouTube channel. And yeah, I believe it's the June or the July, two of them, June and the July ones in that time frame um, of this year. 2024 that describes with some visuals about the cut flower of life. So I was seeing the, the corrected flower of life and then the crystal spiral that activates our correct body manifestation where all aspects of being are in balance. The top to bottom, bottom to top, left to right, right to left, inner to outer, outer to inner, back to front, front to back. So this is this is part of what what is happening. And then with more happening this morning, before I got out of bed, I was very aware of this vector equilibrium geometry in my physical body. It started in the, the chest, the high heart, and then it's moved now into the pelvis. So... This means that the body that's being built is, is set to, to neutral, right? All vectors lead to cancel out polarity in a sense, that center point. Um, and so even this vector equilibrium, as I'm even speaking now, that center point is centered at the low at my lower Dantian center because to me that's where like the spirit energy pools it kind of has a circular motion to it and um, the bottom one is our connection with the planet the collection with magnetics and so martial artists really use this center point that lower Dantian um, for their stability. Uh, and I've never been all that coordinated uh, in a sense because part of me is always never really connected to the body, right? Um, when you're born in fear, then you don't, you tend not to want to be here. And uh, a lot of absent mindedness, I would say, in my earlier years, uh, just, just saying. In my own sense, in my own uh, sense. Anyway, um, so this vector equilibrium is having a profound impact as uh, we change the state of matter and how that's going to look in the 
outer world, the physical world, is uh, yet to be seen. Because this is a major change, whether people like it or not. And we may see craziness. We obviously will probably still see craziness as people may start to realize what's happening. Um, craziness because they're trying to run the same lower consciousness thought forms, belief systems, and that will, uh, that's creating actually havoc in their own bodies as they're masculine and feminine if it's not if they're not allowing this integration th to happen or even a synthesis at a very refined level uh, a bridging of oneness and wholeness that um, it will have cause schisms in their mental and emotional field because this is going down to the subatomic layers, levels which affects our DNA we'll be able to more easily detox we'll be able to more easily heal our DNA the ancestral DNA, release all karmic patterning in the body. Ka kiwa ka a a ya ta 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 te te se te ta ta to ka kiwa ka 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 a ka a. You may feel that in the tailbone, which is guided to I'll go all the way down to the tailbone. I'm going to restructure our bone matrix as well. The electric magnetic is being, uh, quote, neutralized in a sense. Um, so, lots happening uh, at many, many levels. My body is a sacred temple, and I am one with my source. My body is a sacred temple, and I am one with all my body systems and body parts. My body is a sacred vessel and I allow the totality of my essence from beyond time and space to come through so that a new reality can be birthed in these dense matter realms. I am the one that I've been waiting for. And what I just said obviously um, refers to each and every one of you listening if you choose to allow that um, to happen to you as well. So it's not, I'm not saying I as in just myself as an egoic sense but just offering that out that you have the the capacity the sovereignty and the power to um, affirm that for yourself
So we're doing a lot in our Patreon meetings um, that we meet once a month, usually the third Tuesday. So this is just a kind of the an FYI part. If you would like to join us um, for the Cosmic Membership Supporter, which you get access to everything, images, the live meetings, uh, the meditations, and the meditations now, I'm clipping out the audio only and posting that in a separate place so that people can repeat uh, the meditation. Or some people are choosing to watch the, the video after the live in sections to take it in. And then they do the meditation at another time when they feel guided to do so. Anyway, just saying... If you're, if you feel guided to join, please don't use the Apple iOS app, meaning on your phone, your iPhone or your iPad, because Apple is now taking 30% of uh, what we would earn. We began this on November 1st. It does not affect any of the uh, members that joined before November 1st. Um, but any new members signing up, you can go directly through your computer or your laptop to the Patreon site and join that way. And um, we won't be affected by the 30% cut that Apple is now has begun to take and I'm not sure what that's going to look like right now by uh, to offset that if people are joining through the iOS app but anyway just an FYI we'd appreciate it if you would join on a laptop or a computer or I think I don't think Android uh, is affected so just an FYI uh, thank you for listening, and these are intense and wild times. 2025 is going to continue to amplify these changes that we're experiencing right now, um, so just a uh, Hold on to your hats and practice being centered and balanced. I pray for peace on this and grace on this U.S. Election Day. Thank you.